guys, welcome to another edition of Rage Against the Dice. As you can see here, I've superimposed Liam so he looks like a human because I don't want to get kicked off YouTube, essentially. Uh, we're doing an unboxing video today. Uh, do you want to tell us what we're doing an unboxing video of, since it's yours? Carnivale! It is Carnivale. Um, these are for your doctors. They are. They are the monstrous menagerie. He said on the first take, I'm pretty <coughs> impressed. What we're going to do is I'm going to show you the box and then we're going to go down to the table and we're going to have a look at the models properly. People have been saying that we're not real, so we've actually decided to come on camera. Well, except me. Yeah, I'm not real. Superimposed. Yeah, I'll see you on Right, so, considering most of our videos are us struggling trying to get the cardboard sleeve off. Oddly, it was the first time I've ever actually done it first go. Yeah, it, it's <laughs> um, easy. really I, easy, this one. <laughs> yeah, I have pre-taken it off. Um, so as you can see, it's the usual packaging. I don't really need to rant about it like I always do, but I'm going to. Really cheap cardboard. This is okay, actually. I'll let that one slide. Same artwork it always is. There you go. That's the person who packed this. I like to show it. Because then, like the many times we've actually found issues with it, they're being shamed on camera. Yep. It's kb 0919s fault. It's all his fault. Yeah, or hers. Or hers. We don't judge. Uh, so these are the bases. Bases, bases. We don't need to look at them. I'm going to let you take these out because, as we know, these are really fragile models. And I don't want to be the person who snaps them. So if I break my own, own models, I can't blame you. That is true. I mean, I still will. Yeah, you will. That. And then we have... What do you want to start with? I think we're going to start with the giant rhino. If start with the rhino. This bad lad. Yeah. So was it the creatures individually packed and then the yep. two models um, together? It's the first time they've come like this because normally they come in little... I don't think I've, I've had them in little jiffy bags before. No. Um... I suppose that's good. I think when we did the unboxing for the last starter set, um, they were in Jiffy Bags, as I recall. And they weren't broken, so that was a big improvement. It's always good. Yeah. So, yes, here we have an awesome Rhino. Is really, really nice that model. In... Yeah. And for a Carnivale model, it's not in many bits. No, no, it's just its legs. I just... mean, there's a few more lines to get rid of, but... We can't argue with that. Should we move on to the yep. alligator slash crocodile? Is it? It's crocodile, it says here. The crocodile. Mm. This is in more parts. Well, you got lucky once, you don't get lucky multiple times in a carnivale set. So we have the body. So it comes, yeah, body. Is the head at least one part or is it a combat? No, 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 no. Ah, uh, TT combat. You do us proud. So here is the. Top part of the jaw and the bottom part of the jaw. It doesn't have a separate tongue or anything like that, does it? Oh god, I hope not. <laughs> I mean, on one of the vampires, I did have to stick hair separately, one strand of. Ah, uh, just hit. That's it. That's hideous. And then it's got little. It's little, tiny little. Little legs. tootsies. Ah, oh, that's not too bad actually. What six part, seven because the body. Yeah, I mean, it's there's a ne there's a good thing is there's a nice contact surface there, so hopefully they should go, go together quite nicely. Yeah, can't argue with that. Should we look at the two peoples? Indeed. Hmm. So, it's the Master of Zoology with her electrified mace. Nice. And then it's the Doctor of Beasts to back her up with a giant cattle prod. So, uh, where we are? There we have. So, there is the... That one's the... Um, that's the Master? Yeah, that's the Master. This is the new commander. It's pretty cool. And what? That's so, it's the body and then... Body, head, legs, all in one piece. Not too and bad. then, big beastie shield and the electrified mace. Uh, There's another again, part for a carnival model. Details mm. on the back of the shield actually quite nice. All the different you wires. Say and that stuff. now, but you're still gonna have to paint that. Uh, see, I, I've worked this out. I, I know how I'm going to paint these. You're not going to? No, no. I know how I'm going to. Oh right. The wonderful thing that is contrast paint. Contrast paint. I'm not going. Not going to lie. Carnival models take contrast. You know, all models take them great, but it's so easy to get to get a model on the table. Fair play, and let's have a look at the final model, which is the Doctor. And this one's in more parts. Ridiculous cattle prod. So, well, of course it is. It's a tiny little weapon. It's going to be in as many pieces <clears> as possible. Luckily, it's all in one piece. Well, it's all to come together because one of these I got that snapped the probe off the end. It happens. Yeah. And then you've got the legs. His legs. Again, a little bit of flash. But and then the Doctor's body, and I'm not quite sure what that part is. 
Yes. <laughs> we'll just go with yes. I think it's actually like a bear trap type of thing. It looks like it's hanging from his belt. Oh, uh, be... yeah. Yeah, hang on. If I can get... Yeah, you can see there. Yeah, so it is... Little jaws. Novelty bear trap. Little bear trap because he's a Doctor of the Beasts. Yeah, makes sense. Makes sense. So, if I put... So, as we normally do, we've had a look at the models. It's a difficult one because we need to build them. Yes. And we will do. Yep, I yeah. will be building these... In the next 10 years, at least. No, no, I'm, I'm normally pretty good at building kind of all their models because I enjoy I enjoy building them. For I some said reason. nobody yet. <laughs> <laughs> these ones aren't too bad. To be fair, they're a lot better than some of them. So we will show them off built. Um, and yeah, then we'll end the video once we've shown them off built. Cool. Hello there, guys. Um, we're back. Yes. You've built them. I have. Uh, first thing we're going to do is have a look at them. Um... That crocodile's beautiful, it really is. I mean, they're all good, but you know the crocodile was where my heart was at. So, what were they like to build? Pretty easy, apart from two models. Which two? So, the crocodile yeah. and this guy. But it, it's more a case of the mould itself. Yes. Because this guy, the Doctor of the Beast, yeah. where he joins, where the torso and the body joins, they have a ball and socket joint. I remember you telling me about this, yeah. The torso has the kind of ball part and the, the legs supposed to have the, have the socket. Yes. It didn't have that. So I had to file the ball the part ball down off. to sit it in. Um, but apart from that, he went together lovely. Um, that sticks on there nice. There's actually a little groove to stick it in. Oh, yeah, we were worried about that, weren't yep. we? There's a little, little bit. Um, and the arms went together nice. Nice. I need to put a little bit of uh, plastic putty around there or some like uh, liquid green stuff or something like that. Yeah. But yeah, and then it was the same issue on the crocodile. He isn't stuck to a base yet, because I do have the black base and the scenic base. Mm -hmm. And I'm debating whether I want to go a water effect. Yeah. So it's the head, as you can see from, can I see the, 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 the gap line? The mold line? Oh, yeah. So yeah, where you can see the, the join. Yeah. Uh, there's a bit of a gap, because again, with the ball and socket joint, the both were there on this one, yeah. but the socket was a little shallow. So I've had to kind of file the other side down and fit it as best I can, yeah. and that's as best. But apart from that... I found that that's actually quite often the case with the Carnivale mm. stuff. But... I mean, that guy's arms, his the same. The, that socket joint there was in non-existence pretty much. Yeah. Um, they're the only real issues, but apart from that, it went together nice. Now, let's address the elephant in the room, which is the power mole. Yes. So... As you can see, there's a gap here. Yes, there is. There's not supposed to be a gap there. Because it's meant to kick on, connect to that there. Yes, via a little bit of cable one would assume. Yes, which on the sprue looks like Flash. I've had similar things because again with the vampires. with where the shield connects to, yeah. there were two, that end, see that little end there? I can indeed. That was kind of what it was like on that end. So the two flats went together. Yes. So it was perfect. So I presumed that would be the same. And the little bit extra was flash. Uh, it was not. No, so you've cut off the bit. So I've cut off the bit that shouldn't be cut off. So I'm going to have to either get some liquid green stuff. Uh, so, you know, some ordinary green stuff. Make a little bit. Or just leave it. Because it takes effort. And if, if you were to warm that up, would it bend across to there? Or would there be still a gap? There's still, I mean, you can see that it's, it's flexible. There's still yeah. a gap. I'd have to move the arm down to get it to fit. I mean, that's not difficult. It's um, not, but I think it would lose the dramatic kind of pause where she's holding it. Yes. Um, so I may try and liquid, uh, ordinary green stuff it or just leave it because for tabletop, it's not, it's not necessary. To be fair, I didn't even notice it until, until I pointed it out to me. Yeah. yeah. And then obviously the rhino with its weird leg. Because that's how the leg actually goes. Yes, and it's meant to. So it's meant to be like kind of charging forward. Yes. Um, but again, obviously, it's a zombified rhino with wires and nuts and bolts and things. Again, there wasn't the, for being a massive model, there wasn't much for like bubble uh, air bubbles in the resin. Yes, hasn't been too bad. I found their resins actually really nice to it's work with. It's getting better. There has, I mean, I think there's there's a couple of little ones on him on his backpack. If you can make them out. One second. On the backpack, there's oh, a little, yes. there's a little yeah. air bubble there. Um, I think she's fine. Yeah, she's okay. And I think the gate is fine. Yes. There's none, none on the gator. Um, yeah, so the air bubbles are getting better. 
And that's really all you can ask for. I know apparently a lot of the first issue of Rumble Slam stuff that went to Kickstarters had air bubbles, but by the time I like I'd got my stuff, there was not really. I think so. one of the worst ones I've got is I have a pilferer, the little guild, yes, um, like urchin kids, and he now has a peg leg because there was an air bubble where his ankle was, and when I tried to trim the flash off his foot. It snapped the foot off and it went ping across the room and now you can't again. find it. So he now has a peg leg, which yeah. looks fine because he has bandages wrapped on his leg anyway. So it kind of looks right. Yeah. <laughs> I've still got... I had to buy another set because it annoyed me so much. But my vampires, my brides, one of them was missing the hand that glues yeah. on separately. And I really could not be bothered to contact TT Combat specifically for one hand. So I, I, at first I just rounded it off so it looked like a stump, but then it bothered me so much that I had to buy a whole new set. Yeah. I mean, one of the things I do lo- love about this is the aesthetics of the model itself. Yeah. Because with it being like a zombie gator, it's got a knife for a tail. Yeah. Oh, it does. So that's cool. And then obviously the fact it's like its body's been ripped open and they just like put like sheets of metal in. Yeah, the, almost like one of our Gaslands cars. Yeah. Just patched him up. So like, eh, that'll do. And then, like, the extra jaw there. It's got, like, extra teeth on its jaw. That's really, really good. I just love the, the little details and stuff. Um, so so yeah. did you buy these direct from TT? You did, I didn't did. you? You pre-ordered um, I them. I pre-ordered them. How much um, were they? They were £22. So that's not bad. So it's, just, it's, it's on just, par with their other sets. It's, yeah. it's, a set, it's the price of a set. Um, obviously, these only have four models in, but two of them are the big ones. Yes. Um... I suppose my only slight gripe, uh, really, is is this guy. Because he comes in this box. Yeah. But if you look at the other Doctors, the, the Doctor of the Beast box. Yes. You get this model. Yes. As the Doctor of the Beast. Now, him and him are the same model. They're just different sculpts. Right. He's the artwork sculpt. And he's kind of, I suppose, an alternate sculptor. Yeah. Them, but they're exactly the same model. They do exactly the same thing. Can you take more than one of them? I believe you can. That's not as bad. So it's not then. as bad that I'm getting duplicate models that I can't use. It's not like my Strigoi where if I want more thralls, I'm going to yeah. end up with loads of um, um, nobles. I do think he looks better. Yes. He just looks more dramatic. So if I'm using him as a normal, he maybe uses the madman because the madman, there's one of the madmen does have the big prod. Yes. So, or I may take two doctors because obviously one of their rules is the line of sight. The beasts can use their, yes. their willpower and I stuff and, and other abilities. So that makes sense to have more than one of him. So you can kind of dot them about so the beast can always draw a line of sight to someone. Yes. Um, but no, I'll put him away. Um, apart from that, I, I really lo- like the thing. You can't argue. I mean, again, like all the other sets that have come before, they've got so much character in them. They fit with their... Like, none of the models, you look at it and go, that feels out of place. Which it can do in others. I mm. mean, Malifaux was a bit dubious of that at times. There'd be that odd model you'd think that doesn't fit. Yeah, I mean, especially with the doctors, the fact that their 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 fluff is they're good during the day and they help people, but at night they come, they roam the streets looking for whiffs and strays to take home and experiment on. Yes, and obviously they they're experimenting with the magic to resurrect animals. Yeah, and obviously draw power from the people their victims. Yeah, <laughs> who are the madmen, which are cool. But no, so I mean, I'm super excited for this. And you're painting all your stuff with contrast paints. Yes, to get them done as quick as possible to get them on the table. Mm-hmm. Uh, Carnival is a one that's coming back to our channel for games um, specifically, so you know that's something to look at in the meantime. What I would say is, if you're on Facebook, check out the Carnival um, Facebook page because it's fantastic. Yeah. The guys on there are putting up some really good stuff. Check the community page as often as possible because yeah, they're cause... always putting stuff up for that. New models, some tactics, all kinds of things. Yeah, so, I mean, something on there. It does actually. There was one a while ago where if you if you took. I think it was for the Vatican force. Yeah. Taking him, one of the guys in there, and it was telling me the best way to play him. And I thought, yes. that's, for a new player, that's really handy to think, oh, I can, I can build a team, they're suggesting. It definitely is, especially for a game like this that's very niche, mm-hmm. and it's very new. Um, it's a good way to build a fan base to go, look, if you want to take this starter box, this is how you can play this starter box effectively mm-hmm. until you learn how things work, and then you can do it yourself. But no. I think this box set's cool. I'm sure you're looking forward to getting some paint on it. Definitely. Um, I think we'll leave it there for today. Say goodbye. Awesome. Goodbye. Uh, See you later, guys. Like, subscribe, and all that YouTube business. Uh, Pray the dice gods. Hope they smile upon you. Take care.